Hello, my name is Nico Russell, uh, here at Oxalis Restaurant in Brooklyn, and we're about to make some soft scrambled eggs. First things first, you need to start with some fresh eggs, either buy at your farmer's market or your local grocery. Um, obviously, farm fresh is the best. We love brown eggs here at the restaurant. You want to take the eggs, whisk them up a little bit, obviously incorporate the yolk to the white. We're not looking for a crazy amount of aeration because when you cook it, you're going to lose the air anyways, but making sure they're fully incorporated, the yolk and the white, so when they cook, they're one even color of yellow. We start with a little bit of neutral oil. Here at the restaurant, we use grapeseed. We use also a little bit of the homemade butter we make in-house with uh, cultured cream. You do not want to see it brown, you just want to see it melt evenly. Now we are adding our eggs that we just whisked up. Again, you don't want the heat surface too hot because you don't want your eggs to curdle immediately once they hit the pan. And from here, it's about finding your good heat source. So for here, we're using our French top. It's a stove where the hottest part is the middle and the heat source kind of moves outward. And lower is always better. The longer this takes, the more luscious egg you'll have. You don't really want to rush something like this. If you look at the shape of the pan, right, we would never want to sear something in here because the sides are so tall, right, which creates steam. But in something like this, we're kind of looking for steam. I'm very rarely relying on the heat source with this because I know the amount of heat in the pan is high enough. So as I see the curds beginning to form, I'm moving away from the heat source. Basically, I'm moving to a lower heat source. I haven't added any salt. It's an important part for us because Salt draws out moisture, and I don't really want runny eggs, right? I want really beautiful eggs. And this is what we're looking for. Almost like a puree. From here, I add my salt. I add a touch more of our homemade butter. And then, over here, I have a little bit of cultured cream that I like to add to. One last touch. It's a little bit extravagant, but we're going to do it. It's a little bit of butter we made from white truffles. So once everything's incorporated, if you look at that, this is kind of what we're looking for. This is more like a puree than what normal people think of a scrambled egg, but this with a really nice piece of toasted crusty bread, I think is almost a perfect breakfast.